<laughs> okay, here in Afghanistan, I'm gonna try some hash. I'm on this side, hash. That's super strong. I like making videos about natural drugs that I come across on my travels, like betel nut in Papua New Guinea, like chat in Somalia, like iboga in Gabon, and like kava in Micronesia. I find it fascinating to see how the world gets high. If you travel to the rural areas of Afghanistan, you can find people smoking hash, or chars as they call it. So I want to know, how does it make you feel? <coughs> Ah, uh, he says when I smoke it, it's like uh, I'm 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 going up, like getting a nice feeling. He says chars is a drug derived from the cannabis plant, and it comes in a block like this. So that's the product of the plant. You can think of it like much more of a pure form of THC. Oh, it's so strong! It smells like weed. In Afghanistan, hash is locally grown, consumed, and sold in increasingly high numbers. The 40 years of continuous war in Afghanistan has undeniably contributed to the popularity of this drug. From soldiers to students, but overwhelmingly old men, Afghanis come together through smoking, laughing, and chilling. In fact, it's thought that hash originated in Afghanistan centuries ago, and today, the country is the world's largest producer, selling around 3,000 tons a year. I became curious to learn more about the hash culture of Afghanistan, so Noor and I headed to the rural town of Balkh at the exact location where Alexander the Great built his home, and we discovered the hash den. Right now we're inside of this hash den, which is just kind of in the middle of nowhere, and people come here and they get high. Hello, Marco. Hello, Marco. Pretty simple. Wow. You just spit in the corner? That's what I I want to know how it does it make him feel. Yeah, 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 that's why we smoke it. One more question. How many times a day do you do this now? Says the, it depends. Sometimes five, sometimes ten, even sometimes twenty. The fact that alcohol is completely banned and not even a part of their culture, Afghanis need to find a different way to alter their mind. Hash is the recreational drug of choice, and nowadays, Afghanistan has over a million regular users. While it's technically illegal, nobody seems to care, as even the police chime in. The Balkh province where we are now is known to grow the most famous type of Afghan hash, the so-called Afghan black, and shockingly, it's really cheap, like less than a dollar for a piece this big. So we picked up our friend here, and we're gonna go with him and see how he buys his hash. Um, we're gonna see the process. So we just pulled over here and our friend is going to a local shop to buy the hashish but uh, I was told to keep my camera down so we don't reveal any locations or faces of the people oh, he's buying from. He's so cute when he walks. It's already done? He bought it? Yeah. That's all he got? How many uh, Afghanis was it? 50. 50? Yeah. Wow. That's like 70 cents. Wow, that was just a completely surreal experience. Um, going in the hash den here in Afghanistan and seeing what the culture is like and for the record that stuff is really strong <laughs> It smells so strong Wow Ha <laughs> 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 
<coughs> wow. <coughs> 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 That was the most insane thing I've seen, I think, in my entire life. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.